Stadio Bernabeu. Well, it is a team that has been tinkered with today. Ike Kassir, or Kiko Kassir, shall I say, comes in for his first game of the season in goal. Theo will be in a back line alongside Carvajal, Nacho and Ramos. Still no Varane, who is injured. Change in midfield with Llorente making his first start on his return to Real Madrid alongside Toni Kroos. And up front, Asensio, Marcelo and Lucas. Of course, Cristiano Ronaldo still serving his ban and the head of the attacking diamond. Well, Levante have pretty much stuck to the players who brought them up last season. Raul Fernandes, the goalkeeper, was the Division 2 Zamora. A familiar back four. One of the new signings is Postigo, who will be alongside Chema in the centre. Campagna, much travelled around Europe, will be in the centre of midfield alongside Jefferson Lerma, the Colombian. Ivi Robert and Jason will be the supporting players and they'll have the sole striker in Alex Allegria, who is on loan from a Real Betis. Thanks, Ellie. You can see it comes in a confidence-building punch from Kiko Casilla. Actually, everybody's had some playing time in the various competitions for Real Madrid this season, apart from Casilla. Well, they're throwing everything at Real Madrid, quite literally here. Yeah. One throw from Ivan, the goalkeeper retreats and the confusion, and Real Madrid are behind after 12 minutes of the game. Dreadful defending, and Evie is causing a bit of a shock here. Well, clearly, a lack of attention paid by Real Madrid to, towards the fact that Levante do have a long throw. No way, shape, or form would Real Madrid set up to defend this properly. And it become a real mess. Here and Lopez with the long delivery. You see it's thrown, Kika Casilla. Backtracks. Carvajal loses sight of the ball, loses sight of Evie. And Evie just in the nick of time for Levante. Swivels and gets the touch past Kiko Casilla. Indecisive all round from Real Madrid. Unexpected start to this game for Levante. And they get themselves in front at the Bernabeu. Or maybe Levante preying on the lack of familiarity in the run and the run defence. Oh, that will be sending shockwaves around Spain. Carvajal, the Real Madrid respond immediately. Benzema plays it back. Asensio is blocked. Here is Lucas Vasquez. Vasquez has options. Which one does he select? It's Benzema at the far post. And a comfortable save for Raul Fernandez. There, I'm not surprised to see the full back at one of the most advanced players for Real Madrid, Danny Carvajal. Benzema tries to lay, lays it off to Asensio. That's a really good block from Pod behind the ball. Real Madrid will be looking for a quick reply. Lucas Vasquez, comfortable goalkeeping from Raul Fernandez. Of course, there's no goal line technology at the fans trying Hit the referee there, and then he carried it over the line. He's hello. Theo Hernandez, good powerful run, not a bad cross either. And that's where you miss the natural striker, isn't it? When Theo Hernandez drives to the byline. A natural striker such as a Benzema, if he was fit, he'd be expecting to maybe get across the keeper. To get that touch, Lucas Benzema. Well, their long throw routine concluded with a goal. Evie going for his second. <laughs> and just a precautionary time from Kasik. Real Madrid left back. Kiko Kasik has it covered. It's a, it's a decent attempt from the goal scorer, Evie. It's a belly flop of a dive from the goalkeeper, isn't it? Well, there's still a lot of debate going on around the stadium whether this handling 
crossed the line. Pictures are completely inconclusive. <laughs> Dennis Lucas Vasquez making a really bright run across the defence to try and get himself in a goal scoring position. Tony Cross with the corner looking for Ramos. Only half kept out. Real Madrid back in it. Ramos forces the opening for Lucas Vasquez. And they keep up this incredible record. It's now 71 successive games that Real Madrid have scored in. And Housy Dan's team needed that goal. And they certainly did. I cannot yet again believe that Sergio Ramos is the player. He gets on the end of the corner. All that practice. Two weeks preparation for Levante. The one player who try not to leave in the penalty area to get on the end of the cross will be Sergio Ramos. A guilty player there who is a Campagna, a midfield player of all people. Imagine one of the big central defenders would be looking at picking up Ramos. He's done the responsibility to a midfield player, failed to do his job. Ramos gets a header in, Lucas Vasquez in hand. The left of a white Roman Richard, always good for sales. Asensio follows the line of the six. Good header by Postigo. Marcelo to Nacho. Marcelo, Jefferson can't get there, but neither can Garrett. Time to get Ramos in the box again. Tony Kroos over a set piece. Can Levante hang on in there? Bouncing bomb of a shot, and uh, well, safety first keeping from Ralph Fernandez. And a bit of surprise from this set piece from Ramos. You take on quickly. Kroos around to. To a, a more attacking position to unleash the attempt to goal and to score. Vasquez, Bale again. And he's making good runs, he's getting himself into the positions. Just offside. Gareth Bale and Real Madrid are relying on Bale, who's come on to take the place of Benzema. It was a brilliant run to create. The chance for himself. He has shown really good movement. Two or three could have you See that come from Campania. This is the ball to Alex Allegria. See the way by Tito Casilla. Travels through the legs of Sergio Ramos. Insufficient power, really, to travel to Real Madrid goalkeeper. Hence the village of Carvajal. Cross Asensio's neat little flank, but no power on the attempt. If this is wide, Vasquez does well to get the cross in. He's on the head of Bale, and another Bale chance is begging. And that's what Gareth Bale has to do: get himself in goal-scoring positions. Plenty of other players at Real Madrid that can create, can get crosses in the box. He needs to be and has to be the player in there, the focal point of the attack. Could he do better there? Mm, I've seen Gareth Bale. And Gareth Bale is getting in the right place at the right time. Didn't make it into double figures last year. Scored seven goals in La Liga, nine in all competitions. Oh, Asensio had crept in there. Good little burst of pace from Asensio in midfield. There's something just simmering under. Marcelo, Tony Kroos shoots the cry, and Kroos again tests the handling of Ralph Fernandes. It's Tony Kroos from distance. Montaigne was getting back to apply the pressure. Again from 